Posting up against Moyo. Provenzano tries to dig and a lob to Edward for the lay-in. Nice play by the two seniors as Michaels. Sweet yo-yoing back and forth. Now drives on Provenzano. The teardrop goes. Eight point for Hunter Sweet. No. Even at 53 and a half, a little less than that to play. Flair for Gray, over Spence for three, and the foul. Salam going at, Cates takes it all the way to the hoop and lays it in, got a step on him, and laid it home. Silent. A two will tie out a three, could win it. It's in the hands of Salam. Pushes off Gray, no call. Missed the shot attempt. Edward the rebound. Dribbles out of danger. The ball game is over. Cavaliers students on their feet. That is the sound of a 20-pound weight for the Cavaliers tonight. And Coach Brad Barberick managing to untangle himself from the uh, folks around. Everybody there wanting to congratulate you. Nice to see a lot of familiar faces and old friends tonight. Yes, for sure. What were you thinking? As you went from a 20-point lead down, you really had a great start and then a kind of a cold spot. I'm sure there had to be the thought of, you know, can we get the guys over the hump this time? Can we get them there and pick up the win? Well, I tell you, Todd, I mean, obviously that's been in our mindset. I mean, you think about all the close games that we've lost this year. And, you know, winning, winning is a habit. And it, it's a learned skill, you know, how to close things out. And, and we've had a tough time with that this year. And, um, it, it was good to see us, you know, respond to some adversity, you know, when, when things aren't going for, you know, going well for us. I, I thought we really gritted our teeth and, and played good defense when we needed to. And, uh, that, you know, that obviously Kadar Salon, he's the leading scorer in the, in the GNAC. He's a very good player. Uh, he can create his own shots. He's good off the bounce. He's over 40%, you know, 41% from behind the arc. Uh, so, you know, he's a tough matchup. And, you know, one of the things I love about our, our team is, and if you've watched us enough, and you've seen us a bunch, <laughs> we play hard. And, and uh, we've, we've been, at times this year, we have put our head down and you know, felt sorry for ourselves because things aren't going well. And, um, but I, I, I feel like we've always competed, you know, pretty, pretty well. You had such a strong start to the game. Offensively, you were shooting about 60%. You also held them without a basket for more than seven minutes. Had to be the best stretch on this floor, at least. For sure. Of the season. Yeah. Yeah, it really, it really was. We, uh, the, the problem, again, is that, you know, we, we, we can't maintain that. And I, you know, I, I went a little deeper into the bench tonight, and, and we lost some momentum there. And, that, you know, that's, that's not nothing against our bench guys, but... Um, you know, we lost a little bit of the rhythm uh, of what we were doing, and that's, you know, obviously disappointing. But, um, you know, Simon Fraser, they, they beat Alaska by 30 points uh, last Thursday. And, um, you know, they, they can really get it going. And they're, they're without two of their best players. J.J. Pankratz played some tonight, scored a basket there, but he's, he's playing on one leg. And Isaiah Sherman Newsom has been out uh, for several weeks. And so, you know, those guys um, compete. And Steve Hansen's a really good coach and a really good uh, guy. I just have a lot of respect for him and what he does. And, uh, you know, he's so gracious. Uh, and he's, he's somebody that, uh, you know, has been on this end of it uh, before. Yeah. And so he understands, you know, and it's, it, it's hard when you have other things working um, you know, Simon Fraser's in Canada, you know, and it's, it's a tougher place to recruit to. The best American players aren't going across the border, and some of the best Canadian players, you know, look to, uh, you know, go and play five years. 
uh, at right. the Canadian school. So I just have a tremendous amount of respect for Steve. I've actually known Steve. Uh, he was an assistant coach at Terry Fox Secondary School, where we recruited Ryan Murray from years ago. There's and, a name from the past. Yeah, Ryan Murray, who played it. We, in fact, Coach Larry Black and I drove all the way up to uh, British Columbia. And... Um, and we at did, the Border Patrol and only known. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, uh, we did a press release, a press conference up there, and, and uh, uh, Steve was the JV coach at Terry Fox Secondary at that time. And so he, I didn't even remember that, and he reminded me, and I said, I remember meeting you now. And anyway, he's just been a really, uh, I think he's an outstanding coach and an outstanding person. Kadar Salam has the ball. It's the closing seconds. You're up two, and the guy who's done the best defensive job on him for the night, I think, misunderstood a communication a little bit and committed his fifth foul moments before. What's what's going through your mind well, when he comes down? Well, we four? said we were going to foul. We, we had a foul to give, yeah. And so we said we were going to get one. We didn't want Jace to do it, but I didn't want Kadar to get a shot off either. Right. So, I, you know, I said we got a red dog. I I was nervous that he's going to, you know, get a three. Yeah. You know, but so. then the last time he comes down, right, and Jace is on the bench. Well, but but Jarrett, Jarrett can do yep. just as good a job. I wasn't. And he had Chris Lyon and Wade in behind. Yep, so. Absolutely. Yeah, and we knew Kadar was going to shoot it, so we talked about that. You know, and 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 Jarrett is so athletic, but so is Kadar. That's two really really good, you know, GNAC guards, two of the best. And uh, you know, I sure hope both of them get some some love and respect uh, here in some of the postseason stuff because they both deserve it. I thought you did a pretty decent job on Kadar in the first oh, 12 minutes or so. We did. Minutes. You played good defense against him. <laughs> we did a great job on him. Yeah. And and uh, and then we went cold and and they got going. Uh, he got going. And, and some of that was you know when Jace was out and and they hit a three right in front of our you know Kadar hits one. You know, they missed a violation there, and, and uh, he had a three. Yeah, I'm not going to talk. Believe me, I, I said uh, enough about it. Yeah, that was unfortunate. Yeah. Uh, but, but, you know, I think, and to, to the crew's credit, you know, he said, I, I, I missed it. And, you know, you just really appreciate that, and the, the guys worked hard. And, um, you know, it's just, it, it's great for our guys because they have continued to just work for each other, support each other, Stay together. Our culture of just, you know, coming to practice every day and trying to get better has never wavered. And, you know, there's something to be said for that. So many people nowadays, you know, stuff goes doesn't go their way and they, they blame other people and they point fingers. Not once have, has our guys blamed anybody. They just continued to work. And I, I'm just really proud to be a part of that because that's, that's special. Have you ever seen a game where only 11 players combined scored in the game? Yeah, it's crazy. Six for them, five for you. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen that in the contest yeah. before. Yeah, well, and you know, it's funny because at, at, at half, they only had three guys that had scored. Yeah. And so we were... Makes we, it easier to figure out who to defend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were certainly talking about that. But, um, you know, we we have three dynamic scorers in, in you know, Jarrett, Brian, and, and Chris. And, you know, those, those three are as good as anybody in the GNAC. And, uh, you know, one of the things that's been uh, difficult for us this year is, um, you know, oftentimes we've had one or two guys, but we haven't had three. Yeah. And, um, you know, we had three tonight. But, uh, you know, look at Kadar's line, 37 points in 35 minutes. It's crazy. 37 out of their yeah, 20, 26 shots. Too. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's yeah. I mean, he's the guy for sure. And that yeah. part again, part of that because they're missing their two big scores, and that, that's why it's so impressive what they're doing. You know, they they beat Alaska the other night by 30 without two of their you know top players. So I mean, it's almost enough to make you think of a box and one or a triangle and two. Well, we, we, yeah, against yeah. him, uh, just the way he was going. Harder to do that at, at the D2 level because oh, players yeah. are good, but yeah, no, there's no question. What's the feeling right now? Is it, is it fair to say relief more than anything else? Just, uh, you know, the guys are obviously rewarded a little bit for their effort and their work and hanging there, as you said, but just to kind of get that weight off the shoulders? I, you know, I don't know if it's relief. It's, it's just, you know, a sense of we've known all along, and I've continued to tell our pleasure, you know, we're a good team. Our record certainly doesn't show it, but we compete. And you can ask anybody in the GNAC, you know, we're, we're right there, and again, what we were just talking about—we're you know one or two players 
you know, been short at times this yeah. year. And, and this is such a tough conference. And that's part of the transition for us, you know, mo moving up is, you know, figuring that out and having enough, you know, really good players to compete with the elite teams in the GNAC. And there's a bunch of them. Uh, you know, I think Western Oregon has a chance to legitimately win the national championship. Did they get beat tonight? Did you tell me that? Or that was women? Women's. Yeah, I haven't, okay. I haven't looked at a men's okay. score okay. yet tonight. So. Yeah. yeah. So, but I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy for the guys. I've been doing this a long time, and, and um, it, it, you know, I'll be honest, it, it's been very hard, um, you know, because it is about winning and it is about performing. And, and uh, you know, I, I'm really, really proud of how hard we've played, but, you know, we just haven't been able to finish the job. Yeah. And so yeah. that's really hard, you know, you lay, lie awake at night thinking about, you know, what can you do differently? You make adjustments, and then, you know, things don't go well. You're second-guessing yourself, and, you know, that's that's the constant struggle. Yeah. And uh, and winning, as, as we've all heard, cures everything, you know. Uh, you know, you, you get a little more confidence. There's a little more belief in what you're doing. And, and um, so hopefully, uh, you know, we can carry this on into, you know, a, a senior night.